this is your promise to pay. Mm -hmm. Awesome interest rate there. Mm -hmm. And then your first payment's gonna be due May 1st. Okay. So it's just like any other loan that you've ever had. It's mm -hmm. due on the first, you have until the 15th calendar day, so this document goes over that. Okay. So they're gonna ask that you sign exactly how it shows here for me, please. <laughs> yeah, I just did that one way, I guess. Perfect timing. Yeah. <laughs> sure about okay. so we'll, we'll definitely ask her like okay. what you should do and how you can start working on that. Okay. Thank you for sending that in. All right, so this is the final closing disclosure. Were you able, did they send you this with the final yeah. number? Okay. Mm -hmm. Just making sure, did you have any questions on there? You kind of know the drill. They're setting up your escrow account, so they'll take they'll take the, those okay. out for insurance okay. and taxes, so you're okay. good there. Um, and then, yeah, this one just goes, has them on here for the escrow holdback, so we'll make sure we ask okay. about that to get you started there. Right. And then we just have to sign 
get to Walt's Beach. We get started next week. <laughs> That'd be awesome. And I do need to see a photo ID really quick. I'll take a picture on my phone and print that and we can fill this up when we get back. So is this the new address or the current address I'm at now for our um, principal residence? I would put the new one down. Your name affidavit. Um, looks like there are not many other variations, so I'm just going to have you continuing to sign and date there as you've been. Just want to bear it by there and then sign it there. Alright, this one they don't ask you to sign, but just in case you're looking through, I just want to show you that it's in there. The amortization schedule just shows every time you make a payment where the money goes and then what your money balance is. So we have two closing today and then one closing tomorrow. We might try to get another one in the books tomorrow. So, yeah. Um, hazard insurance just goes over the rules that you have to have the homeowner's insurance on the, on the property and keep that on there. And just some disclosures about that.
can automatically sign up to have them take it they take it out of your account your payment okay. uh, we can do a voided check here um, you can fill this out today or you can just kind of just wait until the first one comes and you, get, you can always do it later okay. okay yep no problem yep no problem so we'll see so the only thing we're going to do here is we'll decline it and then we'll have you sign in date yep <laughs> you can always do it anytime too All right and then there's a couple documents here that just kind of go over that if you ever decide to do it. Just okay. gives you more information on that too. So, all right. All right. Okay, this just goes over the property condition. Did you say you did do a final walkthrough? Yes. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. So then we're good there. All right. We have some disclosures in here that I'm just putting aside that you can always read later. They just want to make sure that you have them. Um, again, this one we don't have to sign, but I always like to show you your escrow account. So this is every time you make a payment, so much goes into that account with the lender, and then they'll go ahead and pay your taxes and insurance. So you don't have to worry about you ever get a tax bill or anything. Give, them, give me a call. You don't have to pay anything like that. Okay. Okay. No signature or anything. Just want to show okay. you. And then let's see this one. Again, no signature on this, but just gives you a breakdown of your new payment. Um, so you can't beat that. And then, like I said, nothing here. Just more information if you ever have to call them or anything like that. All right. Perfect. Same thing here, servicing disclosure, just more of their disclosures for you to have on record if you know if you should ever need it, but really just some reading material for you. Okay. Just show you who they work with. Okay. Um, okay. Alright, so this looks this is something that we're gonna sign here, but this looks like this this is that draw request. Okay. So this is something that you're gonna work with a contractor and like I said, we'll touch base with Sheila so she can kinda help us through this process. Okay. So this okay. this is here, and then we'll just have you sign and date this one. Um, this might be something they have you fill out later to start the process. So yeah, so this one just says that I'm going to give you a copy of this, which we did, mm -hmm. and then it just says that you can fill this out to start the process. Okay. But again, we'll uh, we can sometimes it's good just to, to hear it out and see if you can give us some tips. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you do have a copy of this in your. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Alrighty, so here is a glance at the property. Mm -hmm. um, the lender requires that we do a survey to show you kind of what's going on with the property. So it looks like, let's look at this together, it looks like there is a fence on the property. Mm -hmm. It looks like it goes over by a little bit on the one side, so they just want you to note, they just want to note that. Okay. Um, and then it looks like their garage is um, going over the sewer easement by a little bit as well. So, trying to look like right here. There's an easement back there in the garage. So I would say that if it's been there this long. And I think that's going to get taken care of by the contractor once. Cause it's oh, a, really? It's okay. A, it's a, something going on back there, so he has to fix all of that. He is going to fix all yeah, that. Okay, perfect, perfect. It. So yeah, just, okay. just so you know, you basically know that okay. we found that as well. And um, just to show you before we close. Okay. okay, so it's on this side. Yeah, so you might be able to look. I mean, you, you I don't know which way. Oh, wait a minute. Here's the house. Okay, yeah, so. So here's the house and here's the garage. Yeah, so it looks like it's a little bit over there. Okay. And then a little bit on the fence, the fence on the far side. So here's the approach, here's the shed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then okay. the wood fence by just by a little bit over there. Okay, so. All right. Okay. okay. And then you just want to sign there. And again, they're, they're so small that it's not okay. really a huge issue, or we would have told you like way in the beginning, like there's some big issue. But, right, okay. Um, but we just have to note it. Right. All right. So we just have a couple of uh, documents here for us. This is our title search that we submit to the lender um, throughout the transaction. So we just give you a copy because you're going to get an owner's policy from us. Okay. After the transaction is going to come with the deed to the property. So okay. um, people like to hold on to that. You don't have to necessarily, but um, just something for you oh, to keep. Mm. All right. These are the Fannie Mae docs now. So these are just their waivers and releases um, as the seller. Okay. So we're just going to have you sign right here, please. And we already have all their signed copies back at the office, so we've been waiting, so we've had this ready. And again, just down there for them. And again, all the texts are handled from Bank of America, so yeah, so we're good there. Not too much you have to do there. You um, just want to sign there for our uh, assessment form. standard conditions. Where is the signature page? Right here. I just want to sign there. Again, 
and this just allows us to operate our escrow account that all the money is going into. Okay. All right, so the last one here, there's something called an Ulta that also, like they have the closing disclosures these days and then they have something that this is replacing that HUD that maybe you right. remember. Uh -huh. So this is called the Ulta statement. So it just kind of shows both these and, you know, they shows the seller side and the buyer side. And this is a Fannie Mae thing that they want to see this document. So okay. we're going to have you sign right there. It's the exact same numbers that are on the CD. Alright my friend, we are done signing the docs. Alrighty. So 